All right, there's the camera. Good evening, internet. Yes, I know that this camera setup is kind of shit, but it's what I got. I'm all alone and I'm drinking some beer, so that's what it is. Today, Gothenburg Beer Week 2017 started. So if you're in Gothenburg, you're already having a good time. For people who might not be Swedish and who might not know what that's about, Gothenburg Beer Week is a huge festival that celebrates the craft beer scene in Gothenburg, Sweden, with guests from all parts of the world, but it's mainly about their breweries, and they are maybe the very best in Sweden right now, so it's quite a an important celebration. Anyway, the, as any craft beer festival should, they have their official beer. Uh, this year it was brewed by, can you see it? Beer Blitek, local brewer. Now, there's a special story about these beers, because last year, uh, Stig Bayets, another Gothenburg brewery, probably the best brewery in Sweden at making IPAs, made the official beer last year and it was a huge legendary epic success. It was the, probably the best, definitely the most important and most talked about IPA in Sweden last year. Not just in Sweden, it got international acclaim as well. You know, you can go read about that online, where you're already right now, so it's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. Uh, yeah. So this year, Bibliotech, they got a lot to prove. Cause they're following in the footsteps of a superstar, and they even mention that on the can here. That they are following in the footsteps of one of Sweden's best ever beers. Uh, now you wouldn't blame them if they chickened out and chose to make something completely different than IPA. Okay, they're really good at sours, Berliner uh, Weisse, for example. And uh, <coughs> but they didn't. They chose to make another IPA, a session IPA. Now, what style will it have? I'm not sure. I'm guessing it's going to be like last year's, which was a New England IPA. So this is probably going to be real hoppy too and real fruity, but we'll have to see. Let's do this. Oh yeah. There's a lot of these tropical candy style hops going on. Let me pour it up in my pretentious spare glass here. And get some foam going. Oh, yeah. You see, it's almost translucent, very pale, but still a beautiful golden color. Looks very appetizing. I know that you know color doesn't always translate that well when you see it on the screen filmed through a camera and crappy lighting and all of that so but yeah that's the best I can do now also these glasses from Spiegelau which are called uh, IPA glasses they do create a lot of extra foam so this is not necessarily representative for how this beer is or how it would behave uh, in your home. Yeah. It does not have the insane nose of, for example, last year's Stig Bayet's IPA, where the whole kitchen would start smelling like pineapple. But it's definitely, it's definitely rich on the nose. And there's a lot of tropical fruits here as well, just like I suspected. 
It has a kind of sweet, fruity, alluring sound. Mm. It is a session, so it has that really light and refreshing mouthfeel that you might expect from a session. Definitely, which is also a yeah, big difference. But other than that, gentle bitterness, lots of fruit. The fruit almost turns over into candy, like orange flavored hard candies, more than anything else. I mean, it's real good, but. And you know, since it's a session, I'm trying to do the real big gulps here. And yeah, it's got the gentleness you'll expect from a session. Carbonation is very discreet. Mouthfeel is very light. You know, close to tea almost. Very light mouthfeel. Like I said, the beer is very, very clear. Yeah, I mean, it's real good. It's nothing like it was last year, but it couldn't be since it's a little baby session. Uh, but for what it is, it's really good. I'd say four out of five or so. I definitely drink this again, but it's not crazy exciting or landmark like last year's was. But it's a very good fruity, hop forward, low bitterness, easy going session ale. So, you know, if that's what you're looking for, you won't go wrong with this. And maybe that's why they named it a moment of clarity, since, you know. You're going to be drinking it at the festival and you're going to cry all kinds of sours and stouts and all kinds of heavy beers. Maybe their plan is that you're going to want to have this to like reset yourself every now and then. And for that purpose, it's real good. Good night, internet. <laughs>